Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandante again and welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will talk about the graph of a cubic function. Here we go. Okay, I have here an example. The table shows some values for the function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x. And this is a perfect example of a cubic function. Why? Because the highest exponent of the variable is 3. That's why it is a cubic function. And take note of that. Now, our task here is we are going to solve for the missing values in here in the given table below. And we are going to draw the graph of this function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x. Okay, so let's start. Now for us to solve for the missing values, just simply substitute the value of x, which is given in the table, to the given function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x. So here we go. Just look at the procedure. Now I'm substituting the values of negative 2, where in the value of y is equal to 0, and then negative 1, which is equal to 3, and then 1, which is equal to negative 3, and 2 is equal to 0. So there you go, guys. That's how you find out the missing values. Okay? Now, since we have the missing values, our next task to do is to draw the graph of the cubic function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 4x. So what we are going to do is just to plot the following points now. To start with, we have negative 3 and negative 15. So we cannot figure out negative 15 here in y. So just I'm putting an arrow here. So meaning it's going down below. Next one is negative 2, 0. So it's here. So we can just simply look at it here. Now it's in the x-axis, negative x-axis rather you have there. And then negative 1 and 3 there in the second quadrant. Then 0, 0 is the point of origin. And then 1 and negative 3 in the fourth quadrant. 2, 0 in the positive x-axis. And 3, 15 in the first quadrant but it's on the upper, uh, there up. Okay, so then we are going to connect the dots smoothly okay so that's how you do that and this is the graph of the function x cubed minus 4x this time i'm going to show you here to double check our graph whether it's correct or not in one of the applications in ipad or we can also make use of geogebra so there you go the value um, i'm just putting the values of the function and there you go that is the graph of the cubic function y is equal to x cubed minus 4x okay Okay, wait, there is more. I have here the last question about the graph of a cubic function, which is use your graph to solve the equation x cubed minus 4x is equal to 0. How are we going to answer this question? Just simply look at the graph here and check with where it intersects the x-axis. So there you go. You have here at negative 2, 0, and positive 2. So therefore, these are the solutions of the given equation. Or... We can also just simply solve the given equation by factoring. Okay, just simply factor it, factor x since x is common. And then remember x squared minus 4, it's difference of two squares. So the factors are the sum and difference. Okay, so there you go. The values of x are 0, negative 2, and 2, and it's the same. Okay, and that's all about the graph of cubic functions. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye.